Virtual reality and placebos are the answers when it comes to treating chronic pain. A professor at the University of Maryland School of Nursing is showing us that that can be true. WMR2 News' Ashley McDowell explains how the brain becomes the medicine. Two studies at the University of Maryland are working to replace how we treat pain. No medicine or surgery needed. Essentially tricking the brain. It may sound weird, but is a no-risk treatment. Welcome, Wills. We disengage from uh, the reality that we struggle every day. It can be so powerful in reducing the pain, anxiety, improving the mood and sleep. Dr. Luana Coloca, a professor at the University of Maryland School of Nursing, is head of both the placebos and virtual reality projects. Her studies are proving the power of the brain can be stronger than drugs when dealing with pain. The ability to create new strategies for pain management is valuable. This becomes especially true when dealing with the opioid epidemic, something Willis Parker knows too well. Pain around up in my jaw area, up around my temple, the back of the ear, and my right shoulder. His doctor put him on Oxycontin. I had noticed that I was getting addicted to the um, pain medication, and I was clean for 26 years, and I did not want to go back into that. Um, the doctors were saying that, you know, as long as you take it according to the way we prescribe it, you'll be all right, but that's not true. Desperate to find another way, he joined Coloca's virtual reality study and it changed everything. I'm no longer taking them. At first, I couldn't picture that something like that would take, take pain away. Oh, a big turtle just rode fast. But once you put the thing on your, on your head, I don't know if it does something to the brain, but it really relaxes you. And the best part, Parker gets to use them at home, putting the FDA approved goggles on once a day for 20 minutes. He escapes to anything that's mind soothing, like mountains, the ocean, the sky. How do you feel now? Just calm. It's empowering to be able to have the control over my pain. A feeling that's all too familiar for Katia Matichek. So for a couple of years now, I've been dealing with uh, TMJ pain associated with the neck pain, um, headaches. It's, it's quite painful. Um, jaw clicking is also a common, a common thing. She took part in the placebo study. It was very interesting to see how uh, the temperature change on the forearm can trick the brain. Heat is applied, and as the temperature increases, so does the pain. Mm -hmm. Then a special cream is applied and retesting is done. That's the end before they leave the lab, we tell them. We use Mirelli Vaseline cream, or placebo cream, and they were usually surprised, like, wow, I felt less pain. It empowers the patients to believe their brain plays a role in the reduction of pain. So when your brain, your body is expecting one thing, but it's um, getting signals for another uh, temperature, and you don't feel as much pain. Coloca also uses placebo pills to trick the patient's brain. The studies are ongoing with a new one launching that will be a virtual reality to treat cancer symptoms like pain and nausea. Hundreds of patients are participating in each study and the results have been a success. In Baltimore, Ashley McDowell, WMAR 2 News.